Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name's Teresa and I'm the Car Boot Crafter and I'm coming on with another Christmas in July project. So this time, um, I think this is probably going to be my advent calendar for the grandchildren this year. So um, little treat boxes that you can have either as standalone or I'm going to have them so you can hang them in the tree um, for advent. So you'll need um, a piece of six by six uh, cardstock, and you'll also need a piece that is two inches by um, six and five eighths in length, and some little squares of patterned paper. So if you've got any offcuts of Christmas paper, then you will need um, a handful of these. Um, six, one, two, three, four, I've got seven there, but six. Um, six squares that measure one and let me just double these double check for you one and yeah one and seven eighths by one and seven eighths on there okay so we'll start with a six by six piece so we're going to make a little triangular box and this is going to be um, like a belly band like a wrap band around it and then these are our decoration so the first thing you're going to do is with your six by six piece of, and this I'm, I'm using plain paper, plain card, but you could use patterns and then you don't have to cut the extra decorations if you don't want to. So what I'm going to do is score at two inches all the way around like that on all four sides. And you know me, I'm going to flip it over and score on the other side too. So at two inches again on the other side, it just gives your score a bit more flexibility to fold backwards and forwards like that. OK, so once you've done that, you've now got four squares. So you end up with a piece. This is just some copy paper that I'm going to use to show you where I'm scoring, because I'm aware that you probably won't be able to see very well um, on on the red card. So you've done your scores at two inches, you end up with a piece that looks like that. So you've got nine squares. Next thing you're going to do is we need to put a triangle, a, a, a point to point score in. So if you've already gone ahead and some people will have a line down the middle of their board so that they know that that's their middle channel. If not, then do like I'm going to do. I'm just going to pop. My, and it doesn't matter which one you use I'm just going to use the six for now so I'm popping my score tool in at the six I'm going to follow it down pop this back in with the point in that six and then come back up so this points in the six and this is where I'm going to use my felt to show you and then all I'm going to do is score down from there to the point and from there to that point and then I'm going to turn it around and do exactly the same um, this is a non markable pen so I can't uh, I can't even use this so pop that back in the six point to there and then using I would you normally use a score tool follow the channel up to the edges like that and you end up with those scores so I'm just going to pop that now into my red card using my score tool. So bring that down, pop that in there. Make sure that my score tool and the point are both in that channel. And then just follow the channel down. What I want to do is fold into these corners. So into these boxes i don't want to be scoring into this middle one okay and you'll see in a bit why so that's those two and i'm going to turn it and do it on the other side so i've done that one bringing that down and i'm going to line that up now top and bottom and from where those two lines meet to the point i'm just scoring that line up like that so now my red card i don't don't know whether you'll be able to see but my red card is matching 
my copy paper okay so once you've done that pop it back in and this time i'm going to grab a pencil if i can find one there we go and i'm going to make it so this is a six by six so i'm going to put a notch using my pencil i'm just going to make a mark at the three inch on that end i'm not going to put it on these two but i want another three inch mark at this one so i'm going to turn it all the way around so that mark i've just made is down at the bottom pop that into the corner and make another mark at that three inch there like that and i can put my scoreboard away and now what i want to do is i want to go where those two lines um intersect there i want to go from that corner to that point and the same from this intersection here to that point so i'm going to do it on this piece so that you can see so my three inch mark is there and there so what i'm going to do is score from this point here right up to that mark there so from there to there and again from there to there so that ends and then i'm going to turn it round where i've got my other three inch pencil mark on my red and i'm going to score there to there and from this intersection where those all three come together from there up to that three inch mark again so that's what i'm doing now these two lines here so i'll pop that to one side bring in my red card again i'm going to pop the lid back on this this is just um, a wipe marker so it's no good for marking on my um my school board so i'm going to use a ball tool this is um a crafter's companion one but use whatever you've got to hand and so that's where my two lines intersect so pop in my ball tool there that's my three inch mark so i'm just going just checking which is my smallest end so backwards and forwards a few times like that and the same with this end from that all the way up to that um three inch mark so i've got some score lines there and i'm going to flip it round actually i'm going to do that one one more time there we go yeah there we go and do this end so i've just done this side and do exactly the same here so there's where all my lines intersect there's my three inch mark there so i'm just going to backwards and forwards with my ball tool pushing down and creating a score there and the same on this side so there we go so now i've got in score lines the same on my red car card as i've got in black ink on this one and the last thing we're going to do is and i'm going to do it using my long scissors but use your trimmer use a pencil and a ruler whatever works for you but i am now going to i'll show you what i'm going to do first i'm going to cut along that corner so i'm chopping off that corner and i'm going to do the same on each one i'll do it on here first so that you can see so where that um diagonal line is that box just cutting from crease mark to crease mark all the way along this takes out some bulk when we fold our box up because otherwise there's a lot of bulk in it if we don't do this you don't have to do it but there'll be a lot of bulk in there and you end up with that that sort of shape okay let me show you in fact what i'm going to do first is i'm going to fold on those two inch lines that we did earlier that's going to help me a little bit doing it by eye um, if you've got your trimmer you might not need to do this 
um, it, but it might help as well so i've now got my score lines in um, a little bit more solid whoops that's just a bit of fluff on there so i can then just from one corner to the other go across that diagonal and take that off and i'm going to do it again like i did on the template do that on all four corners like that and take out all that bulk like that there we go and that's the end of our measuring it's not really measuring it's just um, a little bit of um, scoring really so the last thing uh, so the next thing we're going to do is where we had those so these are the pieces we've just taken that corner off so we've got that diagonal line there and I'm just going to fold that in like that so that we've got a corner I'm going to do that on all four of my corners bring those in and what should happen is those should line up nicely onto a nice corner like that there's another one let's bring that in and we have another nice sharp corner there and if it's not if it's not a sharp corner so if it's a bit skew if like that say then just force it into being a nice corner bring that in like that join it up and then pinch inside the box so that piece that wasn't didn't want to lie flat pinch it and it now lies flat like that and oh one more to do there we go nice sharp corner there and we're going to pinch that so we end up with a, a sort of a cube box like that and you can see a lot of the bulk has been taken out if i hadn't taken those corners out then this would come all the way up to here on there there'd be a lot more on the inside of our box and now it's a triangular box so this is where our other score lines come from so what i've done is because i have <laughs> not so easy to show if I haven't already scored them let's fold them over and I'll show you so what we want to do next is to work on those other score lines that we put in just with our ruler so all of those are in like that and that one's in like that so we've got our cube and what we want to do now is to push these two score lines in to make our triangular shape okay it's going to be much easier on the cards because i have scored it so there's my score lines so i'm just going to open it up a little bit and encourage those score lines to fold over a little bit and then using my fingers just crease it over so that was that side we do this side now because we've got the score line there it it follows it naturally wants to fold along the, the score line like that and then the same this end so find those score lines and encourage it to fold along there pinch it in the the corners like that and it looks this is quite complicated at first or it seems to be it's not really once you get once you do it once you sit down and break it down it's really really easy um, so there we go there's our box let's bring it all in and it naturally goes into this triangular shape like that and now what we want to do is we want to wrap our card around it if you want to you could just line it up and wrap it round. but i've got the measurements which is going to make life a little bit easier so i'm going to grab my trimmer not that one it's a bit too small grabbing my trimmer and the reason I'm grabbing my trimmer is because I want the sixteenths of an inch and most scoreboards 
do eighths of an inch rather than sixteenths. So again, I've got my score tool and I'm lining this up and I'm going to go to two and one sixteenths. This hasn't actually got the two and one sixteenths on. It's got the two and one eighths. But I know one sixteenth is halfway between the two. So I'm just going to buy it. If you've got one that's got the sixteenths on, you're well away. Um, you can use that. Um, you can line that up nicely. Um, so there we are. That's roughly two and one sixteenth. Then we're going to go to four. And it's four and one eighth. And uh, fortunately, this hasn't got the one eighth on. Hold on one second. We can do this. Friskers, you didn't do me any favours, did you? Let's bring this one in. And then I'll have to swap it back out for the other. So there's our two and one sixteenth. And then we want four and one eighth. So there's the one eighth. And holding it steady. I'm just, if you've got the, the trimmers, and I used to have them. I don't know what happened to them. These are the cutting ones. I used to have the trimmers. Um, so, But that would be even easier because you'd just slide that up and down. And the next one, it's at six and three sixteenths. So as you can see, my board only goes to five and a half. So I'm going to have to bring the other one back in. Goodness. So there we go. Pop that in. So I want six and three sixteenths. So there's six and one eighth. So six and one eighth. Um, so six and three sixteenths is halfway between six and one eighth and six and a quarter. So just I'm by eyeing it on this one. Hopefully you've got a trimmer or a cutter or something that has got those um, those measurements on for you. There we go. And I can get rid of that. And then all I'm going to do is fold along those lines, making sure that they're nice and straight on my edges. Like that. And last piece there we go and that is my um belly band that's going to go around my little triangular box like that like that but before i do anything else what i do want to do is i want to put a little piece on this because as i said i want to hang it on my christmas tray so i'm just going to cut myself a piece um this is oh gosh let me see there's me things this is about eight inches yeah eight and a half inches that is so i've got some double-sided tape so if i can find the end there we go so i'm just going to Put it on here. Now, normally I would put the join um, at the bottom of the box, but because I want this to hang up, and I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to be putting holes and bodging holes in here um, and weakening the box. So I'm going to do it this way instead. And um, actually, with it in the tree, you're not going to see the join. So where is my poker tool? There we go. I'm just going to lift the carrier tape up. And this one, if I had slightly wider tape, I'd probably only use one strip. So, and I'm just going to lay it like that. I could put a knot in it, but I'm not going to. And the reason is because it just puts more bulk into um, in, onto the inside of this. So I'm popping that down like that. And I'm going to put another piece of double sided over the top just to um, trap that bit of um, cord 
well and truly inside there and let's lift that up as well if it will come up come on you know you want to no. oh had it there we go so now my cord is trapped between two sides of double sided tape and before I do any more I'm going to decorate this actually perhaps I shouldn't have taken the carry tape off until I'd finished decorating so there's the top so I'm going to pop my papers on there so let me in fact I'm going to use this I'm going to use some I've got some Elmer's um, glue stick which I'm going to use um, I don't know where my glue sticks have gone um, possibly the grandchildren have uh, have had use of them so I'm just going to do it like that so I can see where I'm placing it on there so don't take the carrier tape off until you're ready to glue it uh, together put your decorative papers on first now because this piece is going to come up and be that way I want to make sure that my paper because it is directional is on the right way for it so just glue get that corner glue that and pop this on upside down but it won't be when it's on the tree it'll be the right way around now this elmo's glue is purple but it i'm it said on here that it dries clear so i'm just hoping that it does and then i'm going to use one more piece um, of oh that one's got nice with the um the snowflakes on and i'm just going to go all the way around the edges with this so that it uh, it lays nice and flat like that there we go and with the bottom one because it's the bottom one it doesn't really matter which way around i lay it there we go and then I'm going to bring this all together so I'm going to so I want the um the, the top this end at the top of my folded box so that will go there and I can bring that down here now that will go there and then wrap that all the way around and it will glue together like that and then I'm going to take this out so that I can pinch all the way across like that and then I can give this a few minutes to dry while I work on this and all I'm going to do is glue one two three pieces of decorative card in the middle like that um, just so that when the treats are taken out um, there's something pretty to look at inside so there's one and again I'm just going by eye so I need to get a maybe some newspaper or something so I can do it on without it getting everywhere um, on me or on my I don't what I don't want to do is get it onto the blue so that everything I then put down onto my craft mat is covered in glue there we go and last one all the way around and the good thing is with this is because it's purple you can see it um, until it dries um, and then well it dries clear so they say and I'm hoping because it's Elmer's it'll um, it'll be quite a good glue um, that'll last 
because what I can do is make a bunch of these up and um, without gluing this into the triangular shape I can keep that to one side with my flat boxes and <coughs> just before Christmas put them all together so let's bring this all back in like that pop it inside our belly band oops like that give it a push and there we have a little Christmas treat for on the Christmas tree so there we go and I think I'm probably going to use lots of different colored card and patterned paper to make these for the tree but I think they will be a nice little extra decoration <coughs> on the Christmas tree there you go right i've only got another 24 to do so i'll see you soon take care bye for now <laughs>